So AK rifles and AK pistols in the state of California. What can you get? What can you not get? What can you do? What can you not do? Well, today we're gonna answer some of those questions for you, but uh, let's go ahead and get a fresh mag in here. I'm gonna show you shooting a featureless AK rifle and then also a fixed mag AK pistol, which the fixed mag portions will apply to the rifles as well. But let's just show you what that looks like. So featureless AK rifle, basically normal AK with a fin paddle on the back. Uh, let's just uh, let it rip. So 30 round mags that are detachable with a featureless rifle, pretty neat. Some of you might have your Freedom Week AK magazines. So that's something good to know. If you use a featureless gun, you can go with those. Fixed mag, AK pistol with a comp mag in it. This one has a folding brace, a approximately 13 inch barrel with a muzzle device from Unrivaled Technologies. So it's actually pretty neat. Uh, very, very effective break, but it's pretty long. Ten rounds in a fixed mag, so this does not come out. You load it through the side here, and uh, we'll do some close-ups and talk about the legalities of these guns right now. So when it comes to the state of California, there's a few laws in specific that are very relevant to the AK platform both PC, uh, PC 30515, which is the assault weapon ban in the state of California, AKA why we have to have the fin grip or the fixed magazine. There's also, when it comes to pistols, going to be the roster requirements, which make those difficult to get, but we'll talk about those in a second. And then in addition to that, there are some AKs that are banned by name, and I guess we'll talk about those very quickly. Well, when you go to a gun store in the state of California, if you're buying a newly produced AK, you're generally not gonna have to worry about the banned by name AKs in the state of California. Most of those are from companies that no longer are allowed to import or are no longer in production. Not a huge issue, and if it's at a gun store shelf, chances are not gonna be a problem for you. If you wanna get a Wasser, a Romanian AK from a parts kit, a WBP, a Kalashnikov USA, any American made kit build, generally you're gonna to be totally fine because those are not on the banned list, but it's the feature based ban that requires us to go either the featureless or fixed magazine requirements. So with AK rifles in the state of California, meaning an 18 inch or a 16 inch or longer barrel and a stock, you have two options. You can go featureless, which is personally what I recommend, or you can go fixed magazine. Now the features for a rifle on a semi-automatic centerfire rifle that does not have a fixed magazine, but has any of the following. So this gun is chambered in 7.62 by 39 or 5.45 typically centerfire rounds. They are semi-automatic, meaning that when you pull the trigger, the action cycles and closes. You fire one round per trigger pull. So semi-auto centerfire rifle with detachable magazines or a magazine that is not fixed, meaning that I can remo remove it you cannot have the following features. A pistol grip that, that protrudes conspicuously beneath the action of the weapon, a thumb hole stock, a folding or telescoping stock, a grenade launcher or flare launcher, a flash suppressor, or a forward pistol grip. So most AKs are gonna look something like this, basically just a standard looking AK that has from the factory a fixed wood stock or a fixed polymer stock a pistol grip with some sort of fin. This is the AK hammer fin, I believe is the name of it. It's a fin grip that goes up underneath the pistol grip. Um, keep in mind, there has been at least one guy that was busted, I believe by the Lake County or Mendocino County Sheriff um, for this grip because they said it was too easily removed, but every fin grip is easily removed by just a screw at the bottom. So something to keep in mind, but me personally, I'm comfortable running it. I got no forward pistol grip and these come factory standard with a slant break. This is not a flash suppressor, so this is fine. This is a featureless rifle in the state of California. 
You can get some modern stocks that have adjustability and then pin them in place or permanently fix them in place. But honestly, when you want an AK, this is typically what most people are thinking. And this is the most practical setup in my opinion. The benefit of these featureless AKs means that I can use my 30 round or 11 round or more capacity Freedom Week magazines. These are magazines that as a California resident in March and April of 2019, there was about a two week period of time when you could legally acquire these magazines. Some mags have date stamps, some mags don't. Do with that information as you please. These magazines I legally acquired during Freedom Week and because of that in my featureless rifle, I can use these magazines. Now, if we continue to read the assault weapon definition, a semi-automatic centerfire rifle that has a fixed magazine with the capacity to accept more than 10 rounds would be considered an assault weapon. So if you wanted to go fixed magazine for an AK, you're gonna be limited to only 10 rounds. And now I'll show you what that looks like. Fixed mags in the state of California for an AK are not a very practical uh, usage firearm in my opinion. They are mostly going to be relegated to range toys. So let's just pop this here. I'm going to show you what loading a fixed magazine AK looks like for the state of California. This is on a pistol, but the same action would apply for a rifle. So with the comp mag, I lock this little spring down, then I flip it over and there's a little ejection port looking thing on the side of the magazine. Now, this might seem like it could be easy to load and find for range purposes. And honestly, it might be. It just depends on how easy of a time, how easy of a time you have loading these. The problem is, is you kind of need to keep these angled sort of upwards perfectly, because if you don't, these rounds can go all cattywampus and completely jam up in the inside. I've had it so bad to the point, the first time I took this out, that I actually had to get a pair of pliers and really rake these out because if they go sideways at all, you're screwed. If these get misaligned and out of the little track when you're loading your 10 rounds in, because again, you are limited to 10 rounds, you're gonna be doing this a lot on a long range session. This can be fairly difficult. So then I close that back up, flip it over here, re-engage the spring. Now when you load it, it and you do not get bolt lock because on most AKs you don't get bolt lock in general. So that is what a fixed magazine AK looks like in the state of California. Now that didn't seem super terrible, but to be all to be fair, these are much more of what people would consider compliance in the street, but assault weapon in the sheets type guns, where removing this just requires a simple key, a little uh, hex key screw. You pop off the dust cover, pop the bolt out, and then you can remove this from the inside for when you leave the state of California. So that's what a fixed mag AK would look like in terms of actual loading and using. It's not the most practical, but it is serviceable for range purposes. I know other firearms on the market that people like, like the MP5, have even worse fixed mag systems. So if people are willing to live with that, they're probably willing to live with this. Keep in mind, if you do go fixed mag for a rifle, even though fixed magazine means that you could have the features, one of those being a folding stock, if the folding stock AK is capable of firing at all with an overall length of less than 30 inches, it would be considered an assault weapon. You are unlikely to reach the 30 length, 30 inch overall length with a 16 inch barrel with a folding stock. So in the state of California, folding stock or under folding stock AKs, even on a fixed magazine are probably a no-go unless you attach an absurdly long muzzle device and pin and weld it to the front of the barrel, you're not gonna be able to go folding on an AK in the state of California, which if you're gonna be 30 inches overall length, regardless of whether or not it's folded, that kind of defeats the purpose of a folding stock in my opinion. So that's rifles. Now for pistols, AK pistols in the state of California, there is no featureless option because if we read the definition for a AK pistol in the state of California, 
a semi-automatic pistol that does not have a fixed magazine but has any one of the following. So, if it has a detachable magazine on a pistol and it's semi-auto, it cannot have a threaded barrel, which this one does, a second hand grip, which this one does not, a shroud that is attached to or partially or completely encircles the barrel that allows the bearer to fire the weapon without burning the bear bearer's hand, except a slide that encloses the barrel. So you might be thinking, well, I could permanently weld a, f you know, or cut off the threads, or I could permanently weld a thread protector onto the front of this. That would be fine, right? Sure. I've got no second hand grip on this. Sure. Easy to work with. Maybe on an AK, you could remove the lower and upper hand guard, and maybe you would be fine with the barrel shroud. However, the last part that makes an AK pistol unable to go featureless is this. The capacity to accept a detachable magazine at some location outside of the pistol grip. So here is the pistol grip. Because the magazine does not go into this and it has the capacity to accept a magazine outside of the pistol grip, I can't really get rid of this as a feature. So featureless is not an option, which is why we have to go fixed magazine on our semi-auto AKs. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, okay, I can deal with a fixed magazine AK pistol. How do I get one though? Because the handgun roster in the state of California makes that pretty difficult. Well, unfortunately, this Lee Armory AK pistol that I purchased legally, this is not really an option for most people nowadays because Lee Armory is no longer in existence. And they were the only company at the time that I am aware of that was or is making a non-semi-auto single shot exempt AK pistol as just a factory rifle that you can go out and buy. You might be able to find a builder out there willing to produce for you from a virgin receiver, a single shot AK that you just have to drill out the gas port of the gas block. You might be willing and able to find someone to do that. It's gonna be really expensive at that point you're probably gonna be better off going on the used market and finding an AK pistol that was either brought in from out of state when someone moved here or purchased by a cop as a semi-auto fixed mag pistol. So there's not a whole lot of great options when it comes to that for AK pistols. The availability is really gonna be the hardest part. Unlike AK rifles in the state of California that you're gonna find at any respectable gun store, you're gonna be very unlikely to find anyone out there selling on the rack an AK pistol unless it's a private party transfer that is exempt from the handgun roster. So my final thoughts on AKs in the state of California, if you really want an AK in the state of California, get yourself a featureless AK rifle. AK pistols, not a very practical firearm in the state of California, um, and that's pretty unfortunate because of the fixed magazine system. With an AK rifle, going featureless is honestly, in my opinion, the way to go. These fin grips are easy to attach and easy to remove. Most AKs already have a fixed stock. Don't put a forward pistol grip on it. Don't put a flash hider on it. Just run the gun stock. If you want to, you can put a light and a optic on this gun and be totally fine. And if you have Freedom Week magazines in the state of California, this would be completely legal and is what I would personally recommend that you went with. AK pistols, very expensive, very hard to find, very rare, not very practical. AK rifles in the state of California, a fairly practical gun. Personally, I'm a more of an AR guy, but a lot of people like AKs, and because of that, I'm making this video talking about what I might recommend in the state of California. So, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, be sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz. You guys know the drill, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous, peace.